What's up Trophy Hunter, there are some pretty good deals right now in the PlayStation Store. But instead of the Black Friday sale, I want to bring your attention back again to the PlayStation Indies. In my last PlayStation Indies sale video, I showed you the fastest Platinum games. But in this video, I will show you 12 hidden gems, which are fun and worth playing and of course with an easy Platinum. So guys, we're jumping right into it and starting with the first game, which is Effie. The game is a 3D action adventure game that combines classic elements from the genre such as combat, platforming and puzzles. I personally really enjoyed this one, but keep an eye on the collectibles because they are highly missable. If you miss any collectible you have to start from the beginning of the game. The game is stackable between Europe and North America. The next game on my list is Chernobylite, which is a science fiction survival horror RPG. In the game you can upgrade your base, you need to find food to survive, you can upgrade or craft weapons and a lot of more stuff like this. The majority of the trophies is story related. There are some missables in form of decisions, but it's possible to kill yourself and replay the previous level. The reason why the platinum is very easy because you can play the entire game on very easy difficulty. The next game on my list is called Chris, which is a platformer. The game has great visuals with a very good soundtrack. In general, gameplay wise there is nothing too difficult and rather than combat mechanics or complicated moves, you will spend the better part of the game interacting with your environment. Basically nothing is missable because chapter select unlocks after finishing the game. But if you want all the trophies in just a single playthrough, check out my platinum walkthrough. The next game horror is another beautiful looking platformer. Great visuals, great soundtrack. The game has 19 trophies but be aware, 4 trophies are missable. There is no chapter select so if you miss something you have to start from the beginning of the game. If you're looking for a platinum walkthrough, check out my channel. Next one is the suicide of Rachel Foster which is definitely one of the better walking simulators. The game reminds me a lot of the movie The Shining. However, it's a pretty straightforward game with a handful of puzzles. The game has 12 trophies and 5 trophies are missable. So if you want the platinum in just one playthrough, maybe my platinum walkthrough can help you. The next game on my list is The Last Stop. If you enjoyed the telltale games like The Walking Dead or Tales from the Borderland, check out Last Stop. The game's layout is very straightforward, just keep an eye on the chapter specific trophies. But don't worry if you miss something because chapter select unlocks after beating the game once. Next one on my list is The Sexy Brutal. For just $4 you get a very good adventure puzzle game. When it comes to trophies, The Sexy Brutal has a fairly straightforward list with most coming from natural progress through the game and gathering of collectibles. In case you get stuck, I have two videos on my channel, one walkthrough and one collectible guide. For the collectibles, no worries, none of them are missable. Simply load your last save after beating the game and start searching for the ones you have missed. The Gardens Between is a single player adventure puzzle game about time, memory and friendship. There is no in-game fighting or something, it's all about solving puzzles. Trophy wise the platinum trophy is very easy to obtain, especially if you choose to follow a platinum walkthrough. If you need one you can find one on my channel. There are no missable trophies due to there being a chapter select available after completing the game for the first time. Next game on my list is Fitchman, which is a pretty nice looking action adventure game. Fight enemies, solve puzzles and find collectibles. Well, this time instead of the collectible trophies, two kill related trophies are missable. The two trophies are Plate Master and Deadly Spin. This one are the only two missable trophies in the game. If you do not get this before you complete the game, you need to start a new one. So the next game on my list is Iris 4. If you like puzzle games, you should give this game a try. With an active PS Plus subscription, you can get this little gem for just $5. The game is rather short, especially if you use a walkthrough. There is no in-game fighting or something, it's all about solving puzzles. There are some chapter specific trophies, but no worries, nothing is missable because there is a chapter select available. With a walkthrough it's possible to complete the game within 1 hour, without the walkthrough it can take up to 3 to 4 hours. The next game is a must buy for all the survival horror fans out there. $4 for a pretty solid horror adventure game. But be aware because Dawn of Fear is definitely the toughest game on my list. 
The toughest trophies in the game is you have to complete the game using a maximum of 4 first aid kits. However, if you love these old school survival horror games, you need to give Dawn of Fear a try. If you need help on any trophy, check out my platinum walkthrough. And last but not least is Metropolis. I think I already recommended this game on some previous sales. However, if you have a small love for match 3 puzzle games, you need to play Metropolis, especially for this price, it's just $2. In my opinion one of the best match 3 puzzle games. So guys that was my list for some games which are fun and worth playing. Please feel free to share your recommendations in the comment section below. I hope you found this video useful, thanks for the attention, see you in my next one.